Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core, and today I've got some Hitman gameplay for you guys. This is from the PS4 closed beta. You actually have to pre-order the game to get into the closed beta, so I thought I'd bring you guys this gameplay, let you see what it's all about, let you see how it plays, um, some of the cool features in this one, and give you guys an opportunity to you know see what it's all about before you put down your money um, and on this game and pre-order it, or um, even go ahead and pick it up in the final release. So this is actually going to be the first mission in the final game, so you, you're playing kind of essentially the first mission, and um, the prologue mission, or the kind of tutorial on combat, um, and the first mission is on this yacht. And I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty alternative way of completing this mission, it's a little bit sneaky, um, but I have played this one a couple of times. And that's the cool thing about Hitman, you know, you can play a mission multiple times, there's always new ways to do it, there's so many different approaches you can take, um, you know, just going through the challenges in each on each one there's quite a few different challenges, you know, you can poison your target, you can shoot them, you can do them from a long distance or get really up close and personal. There's just so many different ways to, to complete each mission. And there's also, you know, a whole bunch of opportunities to eavesdrop on people, you can um, gather more in information and intel from eavesdropping on people. And of course right here I'm stealing this um, mechanics outfit um, to be able to sneak onto the ship. And uh, later on, you'll see me steal another couple of outfits. You can, you know, you can change into like a security guard. You can change into a waiter to access different areas. And you'll also notice some of the NPCs will have a white dot above their head. That basically means that um, you don't want to get too close to those guys. And you'll see um, there's a few mechanics up here in the garage, and one of them has a, a white dot above his head. And that basically means that he will recognize and see through my disguise. And um, so I'm making sure he's facing the other way when I'm walking past. So right now the beta is exclusive to PlayStation 4. Um, I don't believe Xbox One is going to have a beta at all, but there's going to be a PC beta next week. Um, so PS4 does get quite a lot of exclusive access on this one, and you guys have a good chance to, to check out the game. And now I mention it, I actually also have a spare PC code um, that I'm not going to be using. So if you guys want to play this on PC and you need yourself a beta code, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I'll message one of you guys that and also, just a quick disclaimer, I always get this question whenever I cover a game in beta mode. People always ask if the progress um, carries into the full game, but um, they've confirmed that progress from the beta will be completely reset by the time the full game comes on March 11th. So basically in this mission you're trying to eliminate Calvin Ritter. Now you can follow him to his, um, you know, his office and eliminate him there silently. However, as you'll see I'm doing a bit of an alternative approach. I've taken a waiter's outfit so I can head upstairs past the security guards. And I'm going to plant an explosive in um, kind of in the captain's room right at the top. Now, this is actually the location where your target, Calvin Britter, will actually run to if you set off the fire alarm. So I thought it'd be super sneaky. I'd stick an explosive up here. So um, if I trigger the fire alarm, he's basically going to run up here with a couple of other guys. And I'm going to be able to blow them all up. So I found a nice little hiding spot behind this. Um, you don't want to leave your explosives out in the open because um, the guards will basically pick them up. If, if they notice it, but I've got that in a, a bit of a hidey spot there. And I'm going to head downstairs and hit the fire alarm. I couldn't find one on this floor, so I had to go down to the, the first level deck to hit the fire alarm. But yeah, that's pretty much the method I use to eliminate the target on this mission. I'm going to stop talking and give you guys an opportunity to listen to the, the, the sound effects and get this, this game in its full experience. Don't forget, you guys are always welcome to let me know what you think of this game so far down in the comments. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, feel free to let me know. Don't forget to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Why did someone activate the alarm? Yeah.